We've literally not done a video on like my loadout for so long. I used to do it every single season and then just mayhem happened. We didn't do it, but guess what? Today, we are gonna do it. All right, you crazy bushcrafters, let's break into this thing. So what I got here for my bag is my, a Filson backpack. And I've been using this now for a few months. I've really been killing this thing. It's been holding up real well, looks real traditional. Yeah, it has a heavier price tag, but it's super heavy duty. And it just, I think it's gonna last me just about forever. And it really is comfortable on my back overall. Spring time here, we're looking at like 55, 60 at night except these last few days, super cold. But overall, you know, I don't need too much gear to go along with this. I have my cup on the outside just because I was making some coffee earlier, so I threw it out there because it was a little bit wet in the inside. So we'll throw that off to the side. But I do have a cup with me. And down on the bottom, I just have my bedroll here. So I have just a heavy duty wool blanket on there. That's a queen size, and then I have bedroll straps. Now how I have this attached, is with just large um, rings and then I just run my bedroll straps through the rings. So it works really well like that. That was an add-on. That's not something that normally comes with the bag. Now in this front compartment right here, I have a metal water bottle so I can keep my water in there as I'm going and grab it quickly as needed. I have a pencil and a notepad in case I gotta take any notes or I'm writing down video ideas, stuff like that. It's all in there. I make sure I have my ferro rod right up in the front. This is one of the new Yuko Titan Fire ferro rods. Love that thing. Exotac lighter case with, of course, a lighter inside. Can't go wrong there. And then what else I have in here is one of our new scalpels, our utility blades that we make um, at our knife shop. So this thing is one of those things, if you put it away and just forget about it, you're not gonna remember it, but if you start to use it, it's like all the time you're reaching for it. Just a great, great tool to have. So I love it being in here. And then I just have a, just a shard of material. So this is great for like grabbing a hot pan, out of the fire, moving stuff around, blowing your nose, wiping your behind. All right, and then on the inside of this bag, um, I have a couple simple things. I mean, there's nothing too complex here. Now, I do have a water bottle. Now, this is a Grail um, water filter. So I'll tell you why I have this and a second bottle. First of all, I think it's super important that we have the ability to boil water. I mean, that is gonna be the best method at all times um, to be able to disinfect water. But the reason I went with this, number one, it's a newer company. I met the guy at SHOT Show great guy that owns the company and I like the fact that I can just take this thing scoop some water and then press this out and I have fresh water on the go especially this time of the year if it's hot and I'm sweaty already I don't want to make a fire so that's just giving me another option um, what I don't always carry that it's in here so I'm showing you it but uh, just another option to think about for the summertime but make sure you have that metal bottle and then um, sleep wise I have a gum blanket in here this thing's like Oh, you need a gum blanket, all right? It's rustic, rough, and uh, I mean, it's just a ground cloth and it, it works great, so I like to have that along. I could throw that over my shoulders as a poncho too, works really well. I have one of the Coal Cracker Dutchware tarps because it's lightweight, everything's inside here. And uh, with that ground uh, cloth, gum blanket, and uh, tarp, and in my blanket, I have a whole sleep system here and it's literally for a bushcrafter, lightweight. I mean, there's not much to this at all. I have a secondary um, wool kerchief, so I could throw this around my neck, around my head. All right, um, and then what else I got in here is I got a hank of paracord. I got my uh, Yuko tin that has a whole bunch of different fire starting stuff in here. Some sweet fires, some storm proof sweet fires. Uh, one of the Exotac nano fires, I think you call this. Boom, throwing some sparks. And then I have just a small zipper bag. Inside this zipper bag, I have more fire starting stuff. You see I'm always carrying fire starting stuff. Yuko Stormproof matches, a char tin. And then I have some of our rope dogs. So this one here is some um, bank line on. And then I have another one here with some jute twine on. Fork spoon combo sharpening stone, 
always got to have that keep our tools nice and sharp and then last but not least I have just a small punch so an all just to be able to punch some stuff out and then I almost missed down at the bottom I have just an extra knife just in case I need a backup for something so I use this beat it up and uh, we're good to go and that's it, that's the kit I'm carrying right now for the spring of 2019. I haven't done one of these videos for a while so I wanted to share because it's like a totally different look at gear from what I was carrying to now. And um, I try to change it up every season. Number one, just to have fun. Number two, because it always gives me some new experience, new learning experience, especially working with a lot of different students. So when they ask me about gear or equipment or I can look at their thing, I can you know start to draw conclusions about what ultimately is the best setup you can have at that point in time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of gear you carry on a consistent basis. If you have any videos, leave them in the links, leave them in the comments below so I can go check them out because I am gear junkie. Ah, I love it, love it. So I wanted to share mine with you. So as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.